Choose Life is um, the National Suicide Prevention Programme and each area has a Choose Life partnership. So in Glasgow we've got um, a partnership that's it's multi-agency um, groups that are involved. Um, we've got health and social work, um, fire and education and police on the group and we all come together and meet every six weeks to try and reduce deaths by suicide in the city. What we're trying to do is to help promote the, the positive mental health of the, of the population quite simply and while there are lots of aspects to that, the only way you can do that is through partnerships. It's not just about mental health services or, or health services, so you know, projects like Bridge Film are, are ideal for that. How do you use any means uh, to, to get dialogue going, to get people helping each other? I got an email one day from um, the director, Ian Robertson, explaining that he was making a film about suicide prevention and that he wanted to, to talk to us about the making of the film. Um, and we had a meeting. Um, myself and my colleague Trevor Lakey met with Ian and the producer of the film. Um, and we were able to give some advice and information around how you uh, deal with the subject of suicide and suicide prevention um, in, in that kind of format. We're delighted to help a little bit as well with promoting some of the, the crowdfunding aspect of the of the filmmaking, which was an interesting angle for us as well. So, uh, and then with things like the launch, being able to help bring the message of the film and the, to a, to an audience and to get the, the launch into the public domain. We were really pleased to work with um, Stone Scissors Paper, the producers of the production company, um, to help facilitate the launch in Glasgow City Chambers. It was a great opportunity for us because it, it helped us get suicide prevention information out to a much wider audience um, through the people that were coming to see the film and through the publicity that surrounded the launch of the film. Um, it also gave us the opportunity to, um, myself and Trevor, to talk to the people that were there to see the film that night about some of the suicide prevention work that goes on in the city and provide information about sources of support as well um, to the people that attended and that information was also going out with the publicity around the film as well. The message of the film and the story of the film really fits with the message that we try to put out about suicide prevention and suicide prevention work. Um, we try to portray the message um, that suicide prevention is everybody's business and that we need to break the taboo and that anyone, any member of the public can intervene and help someone. Excuse me, darling, you got a light? What? I said, have you got a light? I don't smoke. Aye. Well, OK. Do you know there's a shop open? What? To buy a lighter. I don't live around here, see. Do you need to go that way or that way? There's a shop about 200 yards down on the left. You'll need to hurry. It shuts at 10. Aye. Right. Cheers. We think that the film potentially is a great resource because the message of it does fit so well with the national programme and the message of suicide prevention being everybody's business and the need to break the taboo about suicide. Storytelling, I think, is an important part of that. Stories of how people help each other, stories of uh, the situations and the methods that people use. I think that's what attracted us so much to, to Bridge. A lot of thought gone into you know, a really powerful, authentic story. Just let me go! No! Please! If I let you go, you'll lose see that one wee thing. One thing! I made all this shite. That one good thing. So wee you might not even notice, but it keeps you going for a day. Maybe even a week. Then another wee thing happens. And then it's another week. Maybe even a month. And it's a year. Two years. The thing is, 
You've got to hang on for that first wee thing. We know that the, the training has has been effective. We found out just recently that someone from one of our voluntary sector organisations that are part of the Choose Life Partnership had just recently completed the suicide prevention training a couple of weeks ago and actually um, was walking across a bridge in Glasgow and came across someone who was actively suicidal and having been on the training had the confidence to approach the person and strike up a conversation and actually managed to persuade the person to, to change their mind and, and come back to a place of safety.